Good afternoon and welcome to this Thursday Thought. In early 2021, I had heard of a CD that was going to be put out by Carrie Underwood, and it was going to be released shortly. The CD was a collection of older hymns that she had compiled and had arranged and had also sung. The CD is called My Savior. Now, there are 13 songs recorded there, including Softly and Tenderly, Blessed Assurance, and then there were others as well. I waited until the CD was released, and then I ordered a copy. When I got it, I put it in the CD player in my pickup. And you know, it's still there in that player. And in fact, it's been the only CD in the player since it was first put there almost three years ago. I played it almost continually for the first year or so, with breaks only to listen to classical music on the public radio station from time to time. I listen to it a little less often now, but I still have it active in the player about half of the time that I'm in the pickup, alternating with classical music on the FM radio. Now, I've often wondered why I many times would turn off the classical station and I'd start the CD from where it had left off prior. I've wondered what it is about that CD that brings me to want to hear it again for at least the 242nd time. I'm not a country music fan, and Miss Underwood can rightly be branded a country music singer. I'm not necessarily smitten with Miss Underwood and her work either. The only thing that I have left is really the music itself not necessarily the way it has been arranged and sung, although those things have, in my mind, enhanced the messages of the songs. But rather, it's the words that go along with those enhanced musical scores, and they go along with Ms. Underwood's voice and emotion that's palpable in her singing. It's the words. It's the message. Come home. Come home. Ye who are weary, come home. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. Thou changest not, thy compassions they fail not. He sought me and bought me with his redeeming blood. Jesus loves me, this I know. The words of these hymns are as close, I think, to timeless as words can possibly be. And dare I say that many of the words of these songs really are truly inspired. They're inspired by and through the work of the Spirit of God moving in the hearts and minds of the authors. Authors such as Will Thompson, John Newton, Bill and Gloria Gaither, Thomas Chisholm, Anna Bartlett Warner, and others. Words that can turn and can inspire and can comfort and can instruct and can bless. This CD and these hymns can calm my stress, relieve my anxiety, make me a better driver. They can prepare me for what may be a rough day at work. They can encourage me to think beyond the here and now. They can bring to light a reality that transcends any obstacles which may appear in my day. And sometimes they just make a good alternative to the radio. Sometimes I'll flip through the stations that I've put on my save radio station buttons just to hear the noise that comes out of those channels. Some stations may be in the middle of a 10-minute commercial break. Others may be playing some kind of a modern noise to which I can't relate. Still others may be in some kind of a news talk time where someone's raving about the world ending as we know it if this politician or that politician gets his or her way. Or they're spouting some kind of conspiracy theory or selling some kind of a book. And it's then that I switch to the CD. And I take comfort in a God who is always there, knows exactly what's happening, knows what he's doing with his creation, and has promised me a future with him. 
Now, I don't know about you. Maybe music doesn't spiritually move you to any great extent. Maybe it does, but it isn't hymns. Instead, it may be music like Handel's Messiah or perhaps Southern Gospel. Maybe it's music like what's found on Light 99 FM. Everyone is different, and everyone has their own way of approaching God, appreciating God, and communing with God. For me, the CD that we've been talking about, along with some other forms of spiritually based music, are one of the primary ways that I connect with the God of the universe. Well, what's your connection? How do you approach God? What part, if any, does music play in your relationship with Him? Humanity has been given a marvelous, marvelous gift. The gift of music, the gift of poetry, the gift of authors and composers who have been inspired in some way by the Spirit of God to create. May God bless you in these coming days.